It's Nolan. At this point, everybody and their mama has come out and expressed their opinion about the new Drake album for all the dogs. It has been met with numerous amounts of mixed reviews. There's a lot of people that like it. There's a lot of people that don't like it. And there's a lot of people that feel like it should have never came out. There's a lot of real life Drake fans that have been there from day one that do not feel this album at all. And I think it's becoming a lot more apparent that he's just phoning it in. He's not putting his best effort to the forefront for whatever reason. I'm still trying to understand that myself. I don't know if it's for monetary reasons. I don't know if he's feeling like, you know, I got this big bag from Universal. I just got to keep cranking out music. This might be my last time getting a big bag like this. I mean, they gave him over a half a billion dollars not too long ago. Maybe he's trying to hurry up and fulfill that contract so he could get one more big one out of them. I wouldn't be mad at him if that's the case, but I do feel like Drake has better music on his hard drive. That's just my opinion. I'm not going to go too far into that. I got a whole video giving my opinion on Drake on the album. You could go check that out. It'll be linked in the corner. But as of right now, it seems that Drake himself is not content with the reviews that are coming out about his music. Not only just Drake, but his father. There's a lot of people in the industry that are trying to defend him. Birdman is actually calling out Joe Budden, going at Charlemagne the God, going at Drewski, all these different people. Basically, I don't know if this is just promotion. I don't know if he's dead ass serious, but either way it goes, it just makes the album look even worse when you hold it up to the light. Just a couple days ago, I spoke on Drake's response to Joe Budden, right? Joe Budden said that he wanted him to hang out with some older people, people that were age appropriate for him, show evolution in his music, in which Joe Budden didn't actually say that the album was whack. He didn't say it sucked. All he said was, I want to see you get with some people around your age and you make music that's evolving. But he didn't say it was trash. I did. Drake actually saw Joe Bunn's review. He said, you are a failed artist. This is the opinion of a man who never got to reach all of the goals and aspirations that he had. Why would y'all listen to him? I want the next generation to know just because everybody has an opinion does not make it valid and everybody is not entitled to it. And he just wanted to keep going at him hard, basically saying he had 450 people in the crowd at his shows, dancing to pump it up and move music 29, acting like he's the goat. But then some people went online and pulled up the files because, you know, the Internet keeps the files of Drake being one of those 450 people in the crowd listening to Moot Music 29. And they pulled up other clips of Drake giving Joe Budden his flowers, saying that there was times when he actually wrote his lyrics trying to emulate his style. So, of course, I think that is exactly why Drake is so hurt by what Joe Budden said. That's not the last of what he had to say, as a matter of fact. So we're going to get into a new response that Drake put up. His father actually has something to say about it as well. And then we're also going to get into Azalea Banks and her reaction to Drake's new album. So first up, we have Champagne Poppy, a.k.a. Drake on Instagram. He says, thank God for this life and not having to come to rush conclusions on Best Buy podcast mics. Good God. Now, what do you have against the short SM7B, man? This is like the standard studio mic for podcasts, for radio you know what I'm saying? For just broadcasting, period. It is across the board what a, most people are using, probably 85 to 90 percent. So what's your beef with the mic? Talking about it's a Best Buy microphone. Um, We've seen you use this actual microphone. As a matter of fact, you were just sitting with uh Bobby Altoff not too long ago with that mic sitting right in front of your face. So what is your beef with it? This response to me just feels like I hate to say it, man. I feel like when he says stuff like this, the white side of him is coming out like that entitled spoiled brat. That's what it starts to feel like. And I like Drake. I'm a fan. I've been there since comeback season. I've been listening. I've been dissecting, doing the science, seeing how he just progressively got bigger over time. I'm not hating. I'm just saying when he says stuff like I thank God for this life and not having to come to rush conclusions on Best Buy podcast mics. It just sounds crazy to me because now Instead of just accepting criticism, instead of saying, hey, I made what I felt like I wanted to make. I felt like I love this album. This is where I'm at in my life. You want to take shots at people that are creating actual content, talking about your music, whether people are giving you positive or negative feedback. You're the biggest artist in the game. You're supposed to be sparking conversation. That's exactly what you've done since you've come out. The only difference is you're starting to get more negative feedback because you're putting less effort into your music and more people are becoming comfortable saying so. 
How about next time, just come with a better album? Now, the good thing here is that Drake is actually supposed to be taking about a year off from releasing music. He said he's going to lock the door to the studio. He's not going to put no more, no more music out for a minute. He said he's having stomach issues. I don't know if he's having gut health problems. You know, there's some people out there that believe he got like a, some sort of liposuction or something done on his stomach because he did have a bit of a gut. He now has like a six pack and people are trying to make it seem like he got surgery. So they're trying to imply that could be contributing to his stomach issues or maybe it could be something internal he said he's been dealing with it for a long time that's not something that i'm okay with joking about because i don't know what drake is going through i understand what gut issues feel like i understand what it's like to have like acid reflux and different shit like that so with the food that's circulating you know what i mean a lot of the, the the trendy food that's out right now none of that shit is good for us internally so i'm not surprised by that i think there's a lot of people secretly dealing with that but again we got to get to Drake's father. OK, so he also commented under that exact post and he said it's a fucking shame that a young artist can't do his own thing and enjoy his glory without an old hater motherfucker trying to bust his bubble because he has nothing going on. And to mention or put a limit on what age anyone should be dealing with, which is none of his goddamn business, as long as they're of legal age. I am sick of these old fucking haters fucking with my son. If you don't like what he does, keep it moving, motherfucker. He not bothering you. Very vulgar. God damn, Pops. Number one, it's very disingenuous to call Joe Budden old when you're probably old enough to be his father too. You know what I'm saying? That's a little bit crazy. Not to mention calling Drake uh, <laughs> a young artist is also disingenuous because Drake is actually a vet at this point. He's been in the industry for 15 plus years. He's about to be 37 years old. He is now looked at as an OG, an elder statesman. He's not a young fucking Padawan no more. You didn't have to come out here and defend this grown ass man, bro. You really didn't. I'm not going to say anything disrespectful about Drake's pop because we also don't do that here on this channel, but I just think that this is a little bit too much. You jumping, you know what I mean? A little bit off the porch too hard. Your son should be able to defend himself. Joe Budden is somebody that he knows very well. They've had a relationship stemming back to the beginning of his career. They've spoken. They've had their little jabs that they've gone back and forth on. This ain't really that deep. Not enough for you to come out. Birdman saying what the fuck he got to say also looks crazy. You know what I'm saying? Trying to say y'all messing with real gangsters, please. Y'all got to stop putting this gangster shit out there because at any rate, if anything ever happens to somebody that you speak ill about, you're going to be the first suspect. You might as well have just kept it to yourself. You could have sent them a DM and said, hey, quit playing with my artists, quit playing with my people. You could have done anything, but you put it on a public platform for what reason? Again, it seems like press. Next up, we have Azalea Banks who voiced her opinion about the album and she was not holding any punches. She basically hates this guy which I'm not surprised by because she hates everybody. But let's get into what she had to say. Does Drake know his nose job and liposuction is not hip hop? This is where you fucked up, Azalea. Number one, don't be out here commenting on nobody's appearance, okay? There's a lot of people out here that will say you're not their taste. You know what I mean? You're not the most photogenic person. It's kind of hard to find good photos of you. You're a pretty girl, but we don't see a lot of good photos of you on Google. Let's just keep it a buck, right? Keep it moving. Does Drake know that no one who actually understands hip hop, a culture born from oppressed, don't really care about his soft tooth, colonized, confused, mixed race facsimile attempts to exhibit the true authenticity of an actual MC? Yo, did you just have a conversation with T.I.? Did y'all just go to goddamn... <laughs> Did y'all just go to Neil deGrasse Tyson's house and like learn some new words and some shit, man? What the fuck is you talking about? Keep it moving. Does Drake know his desperate attempts to gangsterize Canadian quote unquote street life is an all encompassing failure in and of itself? I don't know, man. I think Toronto, Canada, I think they do have some street life out there. I think it's pretty well known that they got some streets. I don't know if Drake ever partook in that before being famous. I think he recruited some of those guys into his crew, but I understand where you're going. But that's not all Azalea Banks had to say. She went on a long tirade in her Instagram stories. Let's keep it moving. Also, can hip hop get any more trashy? Does Birdman know how low IQ, tacky, and how much of an effing loser he looks like threatening Joe Budden via the internet? Like, you can get arrested for that. Can you just make some more lugs and quit threatening people online before you get arrested? Now, you know Birdman gonna put your ass up on that screen too in a second. Shit like that really makes the genre look trashy and low budget as hell. And sorry, you've kind of just made it so hot that if anything happens to Joe Budden, it's certainly getting traced back to you and Drake, like I just said. 
Loved your verse on Constantly Hating, but it has been a minute since anyone cared for your music and Drake is redundant as hell. Only weird Nippo babies and your Eastern European immigrants who wear USSN Polo Association, Cool Water, and Media F Boys actually care for him. This is where I gotta say you're wrong. This is very excessive. You know what I'm saying? Um, no, Cool Water is way out the game. US Polo Association, nobody wears that. I mean, there's people that wear it, but it ain't out there like that. Drake has a very wide fan base, okay? From little kids up to fucking 80 year olds everybody in between men women children cool niggas lame niggas everybody i think the main people that don't like drake are hip-hop purists those are the primary people that don't fuck with him i think everyone else at least wants to like his music it's just that when he panders different crowds and cultures it gets to be a little bit too much and it takes away from his identity which we're trying to see what that truly is so I agree with you on some fronts, but I think you're taking that way too far. Let's keep it going. She says, work some magic and bring back Young Thug, please. That man is very, very special. Honestly, if Drake's mother was black, he'd probably not be so corny. Here we go with the fuck shit, man. Why you gotta say anything about this man, mama? What are you doing? Like, you got so much rage, so much, like, negative energy in you. It's hard to take anything you say seriously, right? You can critique Drake without being outright disrespectful. That's one of the main things that I want people to understand. Joe Budden and his team, they were not disrespectful. They highlighted the positives of the album. They highlighted what they liked. They talked about the production. They were able to give detailed feedback on what it is that they liked or did not like. And Joe Budden, of course said what he said, like, yo, you're about to be 37. I had to look up your age after I heard the album because I did not enjoy you trying to appeal to Lil Yachty's crowd. That's objective. This here from Azalea Banks, you trying to be hurtful, but you're only hurting yourself. At the end of the day, I just think that Drake needs to get a little bit more tougher skin, man. Like he's endured so much in this industry. He's had to go back and forth with his idol for years. You know what I'm saying? Why is it that Joe Budden's opinion, when it's definitely positives and negative in his opinion, that you're so hung up on it? You're still responding to it days later. You're dissing whole brands of microphones for no reason, just to get this point across that you feel confident about your music. But unfortunately, the comments that you're making are not exhibiting any of that confidence. They talked about you not displaying alpha energy in your album, especially in the song with J. Cole. This kind of doubles down on what they're saying. I'm not into that whole alpha and beta thing, but I'm just using it as an example because they spoke about it. But at the end of the day, as the as the light bearer, as the golden child, as the dude that everybody just single handedly gave the keys unanimously to ever since you've been here, there is going to be a higher standard for you. People are going to want to hear excellence from you and we're going to want to grow with you. Your fans that were 20 when they heard you, they're your age. They want you to be able to represent them at the same time. They don't want you pandering to niggas that's 15, 16 years younger. And if that's what you're going to do, you're going to alienate your audience and eventually they're going to stop tuning in. And as I stated in my previous video, this is why most people do not put him in that Jay-Z conversation. When you talk about numbers and success and Grammys and, you know, streams and all of that type of stuff. Yeah, he exceeds everybody. Chart, position. But when it comes to actual cultural influence, when it comes to actual musical excellence, when it comes to being the figure that's just God tier MC, he's not in that category because he tries to play so many different roles, trying to be everything for everybody instead of honing in on his most strong points. Another great point that Joe Budden made was what is the last memorable hook that Drake dropped? I don't really hear any on this album. I think Nice For What was probably one of them. Tusi Slide, ah, I guess you could put it in there. He was the hook man for so many years and he's no longer that. He's just kind of free willing, trying to do like these Travis Scott, like open up, intro, do a verse, interlude, change the beat, switch over, which again is appealing to somebody younger to him, an audience younger. I do think Drake needs to take this break, come back reinvigorated, rejuvenated, make some real music, man. Actually put some effort into it, man. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, your fans are going to continue to love you. They're going to continue to grow with you. And they're going to appreciate that. Because this new album, 
I don't see this having a, a, a long shelf life. But y'all let me know what y'all think down below in the comments. Be sure to like and share this video. If this is your first time seeing me on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the post notification bell for all updates. I'll see y'all on the next one, all right? Peace. King of my city in Codesack. Coming, I swing like soldier ass. Leading my people like quarterback. But I study this shit, I'm an almanac. Had to get up and grind. Knowledge is booming, I'm here to apply. Came with the chip and the dip, it just single the mind. We finna do more to survive. I need my check. Spinning the block for the Gouda, we hitting the jeweler to flood out the net. We don't do beef for computers, I'm straight out the sewer, we come when you rest. Yeah. Niggas be looking perplexed, so keeping my foot on their neck. Uh -huh. No map, I trust my gut for the quest, but drama, I'm fully abreast. Yeah. I was ready for years and they died of me, uh -huh. all of a sudden they tell me they proud of me. I've been dropping these haters like calories, uh -huh. cross my mind, I came back with some batteries. Stand for my honor, but you run no gunner, packing a stick with a drummer. Wanna catch my bad one from I done came too far to be hung. Let's go. New day, let's get it. Yeah. Big chain, let's get it. Hey. More fame, let's get it. Let's get it. No shame, let's get it. Uh -huh. New day.